In 2020.3, Tableau have added the ability to set a default value for parameter actions. Let's check out what that means. I'm going to build a very basic view inside of Superstore Sales. You can follow along. I'm clicking this default data set here on the bottom left in the Save Data Sources area. I'm just going to put the date onto the canvas, but before I do, I just want to look at sales. Um, I put that on rows as I've just done, order date across the top. Let's have this at the uh, day level. And I'm just going to do a quick table calculation to do the moving average. And I'm going to go back into that to make it look at the previous 30 days. So basically it's doing a moving average of sales over the previous 30 days. And there you go, you can see that's now working correctly. And then we just click out of that and we're pretty much set up for this demo. Now, the next thing I need to do is to create a parameter because the parameter action is obviously going to change this parameter. So we need to create that as well. And I'm going to set it to a value of 4,000. Now it's important to remember this. And um, we're going to call this parameter three. I'm really lazy with naming things. So we'll keep it like that. Then I'll add a reference line into the visualization using that same parameter we've just created. So you can see it here behind us. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker so it's easy to see uh, during this demo and I'll make it dotted. Actually, I'll make it really, really thick so it's really easy to see in the recording. I'm just checking that now. Okay, so here's our parameter value set to 4,000. Now we need to set an action to change this, but one of the problems is once you set that action, it's basically stuck at the last selected value, right? And so it would be nice if the user clicked away for it to fall back to a default value. So we go into worksheet here. Now, because I'm not in a dashboard, I'm going to the worksheet actions, not the dashboard actions. I'm in a worksheet. So this will only work in this worksheet. I'll click add, add action, change parameter, and we're in the right sheet. So this is all working fine. Now, in order to set this up, we need to first make sure we're targeting the correct parameter. So I'm selecting parameter three. The next thing I'd like to do is to change this value, the moving average sum of sales. So when I click on this, um, on any data point in this uh, visualization, it's going to pick up the value from this moving average of sum of sales. So I'm going to select that. And then we're going to uh, look at this new option here on the left hand side, which is Clearing the selection will keep the current value. So the current value being what I've just selected, or I can set the value itself. I'm going to set it to 3,500, just so we can see that it's actually different from the default of 4,000. Okay, so we're pretty much set up. Everything we needed to do is just here in the bottom. And this sort of new value uh, that we've been able to add here is actually the new capability. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Click OK again, and now we have our basic visualization ready to go. And of course, when I click on the chart, it picks up the new value and sets that as the parameter. But now watch what happens when I click away. It goes back to 3,500, the value we'd set as a default. So this is actually quite nice because having the ability to set it a default means, for example, that you can reset a view once uh, the user's finished with it, once they click away. Or more importantly, the user can you know, do what they expect to do in Tableau elsewhere. And typically when they deselect selections, it removes filters. So the same should happen with parameters. So now this is a really nice sort of um, addition. The user can interact with their visualization and then everything can change as a result. This is probably a better use case for things like dates when you want to dynamically pick a date. And then when the user clicks away, it goes back to a default date, maybe today, maybe some other value. But that's sort of how this would work. That's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. It's a very basic demo of how that works. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, please be sure to check out some of the other videos on 2020.3 on the channel. And also let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future.